Welcome everyone, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. Power Ledger video here, POWR on the exchange. I haven't done this one for, for some time. Uh, but you may have seen a potential increase today, uh, up to, I believe, around 30%. Um, so we'll look into why that might be. I think it's up to 35% actually. Um, and what the conversation around energy in general actually with blockchain. Um, we've talked about this many times. I want to hammer this point home and we'll also look at some interesting market information around the well, global market information actually uh, in regards to what is the actual market worth um, and what we're looking to achieve in the next few years and years to come in the energy sector through blockchain now first of all I wanted to uh, play this mini video. So we got here from PowerLedger's Twitter, a key catalyst for change transformation in energy markets, systems and infrastructure in the future will be peer-to-peer -peer energy trading. Now, guys, this is very much around uh, the ability for utilizing uh, things like uh, batteries, not triple A's or double A's or anything like this. I'm talking about proper consumer batteries that could be attached to your house or in a community uh, that you input energy from say your solar panels or potential mini wind turbines on top of houses etc or in commercial units of course you have more space to have a bigger bigger application and apparatus for this kind of thing uh, to be putting into the system um, and reaping those rewards but also transferring excess energy to other people around the world for a peer-to-peer -peer system uh, utilizing web3 and blockchain technology now this of course is great for the economy it's great for potentially making extra money but also incentivize people to be more energy um, efficient and more energy kind of aware as well so We'll go into a bit more detail about that in a second, but let's just have a quick listen to this video. I'm going to be quiet. Let's go. And I think uh, the power industry is one of those things that is incredibly centralized. But I think once you have the ability for, you know, in, in let's say nations like Africa, um, if everybody could be their own energy producer into a liquid grid, it's economic empowerment the economic picture for people not just in places like africa but like a lot of the caribbean nations it's, it's hard for them to operate power plants because they've got to import all the you know fossil fuel stuff i think uh there's a lot of uh there's a lot of costs that will be taken out of the cost structure of people's lives with uh the benefits of this technology and so it's both, you know, income and lowered costs. So I think I think it's quite big over time. Now, that's, of course, a very small snippet of what is possible through this kind of technology and mechanism. Energy trading is going to be changing, evolving, if not uh, massively over the next few years. Uh, we're talking about the aspect of how uh, standards of rates are configured how the cost of energy is configured and all of this aspect of brokering and the markets that people dip into to obtain energy from the national grids or the world grids and manipulating that through the various channels and infrastructures around the world this is all going to change guys and have more transparency and flexibility than ever before and this is as I said isn't just on the public domain or or you and i in a residential area this is also towards commercial aspects big buildings uh, apartments all of these kind of things right so there's huge aspects and aspirations for the energy market to be entering into this avenue um, now there's always a topic about you know as as mentioned just then actually in that in that little video is the aspect of like it being very centralized right now and we've we, we've always had this capability well not always but certainly most recently the ability for the national grid paying that back into it but we're just paying back into a system that is potentially flawed and needs to be eradicated or indeed evolved into a, a more fairer system we see our energy bills going up all the time it's blamed on one thing or another but the fact of the matter is the solutions of blockchain are here and available they just need to have extra awareness and integration put into this and that's where the next part of this topic comes in first and foremost as i mentioned we'll go into the chart shortly but there has been an uptake 
uh, with Power Ledger. And this usually happens sometimes as well when there's an interlacing with an event, uh, a particularly one that's evolved heavily in the markets that they're within. So we have the distribution utility meet. Uh, this has happened across a couple of days, i.e. yesterday and the last day being today. Of course, it's a great opportunity for networking and the opportunity uh, maybe either as investors or knowledge base uh, improvements for people to understand what is coming. What do we need to do collectively as a world unit or businesses around the world to improve our economic aspect, but also our energy, carbon footprints, and also cost reductions. So these kind of events are really important for that. And we do have some really interesting partners here and organizations involved too. Very important organizations in the sense of implementation and getting the job done of implementing this kind of thing. So Power Ledger are indeed present at this current event. And this could be one of the reasons why it's rising, uh, particularly today, because of the extra awareness. Back to my point, awareness is key and education is key, not just for us as investors, not just for people who are going to be using this, but the actual institutions, organizations, commissions around the world that will be implementing this. There are still people, you believe it or not, and I've, I've, I've been to parliamentary meetings and everything like this, and you'd expect them to know everything, but they simply don't. Um, and that's just the way the world works. So the, the consortium or organizations like ones I worked for previously would go into parliamentary uh, government aspects of people and speak to them about this, build their knowledge. And then they, of course, go to their superiors and make this a proper topic and conversation to implement in the near future, whatever that topic um, or integration might be. So this is really interesting. But there's another event coming up here as well towards the end of this month. Now, this one's very interesting because we have Power Ledger um, partly here as well. I think they're panel speaking, but they might have a stand there as well. I'm not sure. There's some big partners going to these. We cover on one of the other projects, Energy Web, quite a lot. And um, you can even see in the exhibitor list if you wanted to uh, who's going to be attending this. There's some substantial substantial companies here energy web and it's always great to see these kind of projects that we're invested in or talking about all the time uh, related to a lot of these other ones here too now we know i believe ericsson is one of the big partners of energy web anyway as are many of the others probably listed in this big massive list we see microsoft here and things like that as well the list is huge of who's attending here and how many have got stands absolutely brilliant to see um, but yeah, for sure, Power Ledger are going to be uh, um, at this. Oh, they do have a stand. Brilliant. So if you are in Germany, Frankfurt at that time, this can be an incredible event to go to. I wish to have one like this in the UK where all the blockchain companies would come to because I'd have an absolute field day going around with my microphone and video and uh, getting getting some interviews and things like that. We've, we were fortunate enough to speak to Dr. Jenny, of course, if you remember before um, from Power Ledger. Absolutely fantastic interview and AMA we did with them. But this is what I'm talking about. We are accelerating the integration. We are accelerating the topic and information of blockchain distribution of energy, peer-to-peer -peer, peer -peer systems, sorry, all of these great things. And we've got to remind ourselves, the energy market itself is absolutely phenomenal. Trillions upon trillions of dollars um, areas of, of revenue that is generated globally through energy, not just fuel, but also things like renewable resources and things like this. And of course, we know the conversation has been around for a long time, climate change and um, the the destabilization of energy around the world. And that has been trickling down to us as users of energy. It's time to change this system, to make it better, to make people's lives better, to have more economic uh, prosperity, both as residential and as countries. We can do this, but... It needs to go into the right hands. It needs to go to the right people and it needs to be implemented correctly. And we need further education and knowledge on this. If you were to tell more and more people on the street and anyone in business about this technology advancement, trust me, people will be like, I want to part this. Let's push for this. Uh, it's quite crazy, really, how long some things can take. But this is part and parcel of the evolution of humanity and part and parcel of the evolution of technology as well. So you can see here, like by 2030, there's a staggering amount of opportunity here for growth in terms of the sector. But of course, if you're involved in these kind of projects early on, this is a great stepping stone approach for you to look into the future and realize what's coming for the energy sector. This is phenomenal, guys. Huge companies involved in this already. We know like 
um, Power Ledger are doing some great case studies right now in Australia with the first ever apartments that have the integration of battery capacities and being able to transfer the energy to other communities that need the excess energy and making money off that, but in a stabilized, fair way. That's not me saying like, oh, I'm going to go and sell my energy for a hundred pound a unit or whatever, because I, I want to make loads of money and they really need it like the big companies do right now. It'd be on a fair algorithmic system based on blockchain, verified, processed, transparent. This is why I'm so passionate about this because I do believe that we can really enhance the world and people's well-being and people's uh, you know, actual financial situations being improved significantly too. So um, that's just kind of like most of the topics really covering with that. I'll just leave that topic before we go into the chart. Um, you know, I've, I've got a really big ambition to help with like homelessness and how we can utilize blockchain for this aspiration. I think energy is a huge thing, right? Everything is a cost. Um, and I think that through the aspect of blockchain, we can really improve many, many people's lives uh, at many different levels too, including business, of course, as well. We have a world to look after, guys. We must not think selfishly. So guys, uh, that is pretty much most of the topic aspects of uh, Power Ledger here. Um, what I would like to do now is just very quickly go into a bit of the chart. So as you can see right now, Power Ledger being around 15 cents. And this has come down quite significantly since one of the previous videos we did. And this is the exact kind of areas that I've been really interested to look out for and be excited about. Um, obviously, it's not great to see massive projects go down over a period of time, but that is part and parcel of uh, the markets and how crypto works in general. So for me, it's just an opportunity, an opportunity for accumulation of something really important and significant for the future of the energy sector and humanity potentially as well. So I'm just going to draw a few lines in here, which I stupidly didn't do uh, beforehand. Uh, but we're just going to come back to some of these lower regions that we saw previously way back here. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. So this is basically all the data from Power Ledger back in 2020. We're using um, the trading view on Binance for this one. Um, so you can see there's a lot of interest back here where we saw a lot of resistance on the way up. And you're probably thinking, why on earth am I looking at 2020? Well, this all goes hand in hand to what we're seeing today. We had a massive rise up of Power Ledger. Okay, because so you can see the pattern here. But as I say, in many, many a project, uh, you see this big gap between here, February 2021, and June 2021, and then probably from this area here, 23rd of July, loads of upward trend, but now coming back to these significant points here that we saw starting in May. So what this indicates to me is that we've had some great uprise, the traditional aspect of the market fluctuation and FOMOing in and all this great stuff in uh, bull cycles, right? But we come down. We need to support some of these areas in, in more detail. So you can see there's a lot of action around this area where we draw on this orange line. Now this was from a previous video. I haven't put this in today, but look where we are. Honestly, go and check out the previous Power Ledger videos. These orange lines have always been here as a significant interest of mine uh, to for lower and higher regions of buying opportunities. And I'm even suggesting potentially that we could see some lower regions as well. As we just drew this fib retracement level in, you can start seeing uh, if I just drag this all the way across, but keep it in line with some of the recent high points around here, you can see uh, as we zoom in that we're hitting some of these really interesting points, both this orange line that we drew in ages ago, but also the FIB levels, okay, on a macro and long term event aspect too. So what am I going to be doing here? Well, first of all, I'm very interested in this current area. Uh, why? Because of the interesting patterns from before where we saw a lot of resistance, we were very much matching now on the way down. So this this has already hit uh, resistance on its way up back here in, in 2019 and 2020. Uh, but then since that, as I mentioned, around June time, 2021, it flew up as it did back here in February 2021 as well. But you can see on the way down, there's it's like a magnet. It's like a magnet of an area that's of interest uh, to, to try and get a support or resistance mechanism confirmed. This is what I'm looking for, confirmations. So we have had a touchdown back here in June 2021, as we just mentioned, which is slightly lower than where we are now. So I'm accumulating power ledger as I always have been on the way down. I don't know where the big bottom is for power ledger and many of the other assets. So we have to do this in a DCA average aspect. We've even got the buy areas that we had before here as well um, when we were talking about it before. So. I'm doing some manual accumulation here because of some nice stabilization here. Of course, we've had a massively nice upward trend today. As I mentioned, it's probably event related. 
Uh, but actually, this has trickled down slightly since this morning's moves. Um, and we can actually look at this being more so confirmation around 18%, which is also confirmed around here. It's actually 16%. It's dropped down as an overview on average of the day. But in general, the top level was 34%. This is fantastic. It's a good awareness. And it always gets onto the exchanges, you know, like the top gainers and things. People hopefully start reading more and more into this. So we see more people coming into the space and getting the power token. So I've got these areas of purchasing. I've also got some slightly lower ones just nearer this 10 cent mark. Okay. Um, so this is kind of like slightly in between uh, this fib retracement level and where we've got uh, the lower areas even way back down here. Now, I'd be quite surprised if we hit back down at these lower levels below five cents. But I do think around a 10 cent mark is quite realistic. As I mentioned, all the patterned points in history are important to acknowledge and understand that we have not got enough data here to say that 10 cents overall in the history of Power Ledger is a confirmed area of support or resistance. So this is what I'm looking out for. So I've been purchasing around this 15 cent mark, which is really good. Uh, we had the buy orders in previously. I think it was just over 15 cents, apologies. Um, but I am now looking at these areas of just under 10 cents and slightly above 10 cents uh, as a limit order in the exchange. Um, so this is what I'm looking out for. Uh, but for me, the long term, this is what it's arguably about overall is the aspect of like how, how much can I accumulate a power ledger at these lower regions, whatever that lower perspective that might be for the future. We've already gone through a bit of documentation and information about what's to come for the energy sector and blockchain. Um, but I do believe that Power Ledger has a fantastic team behind it, a ruthless team, a dedicated team, and a lot of great technology out there already. As we've covered many of the other energy related projects as well, I'm not diminishing any of those at all. Uh, we hold EWT a lot um, in the Wells of Wall Street, as we do here with Power Ledger. So, this is a really important token uh, and project in general and technology more importantly so we see on the rsi here the dip down of volume coming into play this could mean that irrespective of today's movement we might see a small influx into a positive momentum but right now the rsi being the movement that it's had today is still fluctuating a bit so i'll just wait for that to calm down over the next couple of days uh, if it does and 14 days currently showing at 45 and the 28 days at 44 um, it's quite interesting, really, because uh, this is something I'm trying to accumulate more and more of. And obviously, it would have been great a few days ago at these 2331 marks, respectively. But um, yeah, right now, just waiting for a bit of stabilization for it to come roughly down to that 40 mark and maybe around 42 on the 28 days. Well, we'll have to see how that plays out. But I'm more than happy to be accumulating manually around this area if it stabilizes further, too. And you can see on the performance indicators on the right hand side, it's had a good week. Uh, but the one month and the three months aren't looking too bad either. This is slowly diminishing. The year gives you an indication of what's to come and what gain aspirations we will have in the future. So they always say that you make the money in the bear markets. That's absolutely true. Uh, but no one really can exactly confirm the, the the bottom area. You can't have that. We don't have a crystal ball. So we just go on the market data, the information that we see in front of us. And yeah, basically a strategy that's worked for me for them for many years now so this is where i am with power ledger this is what's um very interesting to me uh investing in sectors that have a real massive utility and aspiration of improving the world in some capacity and energy is one of those things we really need to improve upon um and get get some more well-being for people um in many aspects so guys I'm going to wrap that up there. Hopefully that's been a bit of an insight for you guys. There's my buying points. That's what I'm doing. Let us know what you've been doing with your Power Ledger uh, aspirations. And what do you think about the technology and the project in general? And what do you think about the energy sector of blockchain? Do you agree with my opinion that we need to have a decentralized format? We can't let this get into the wrong hands. Let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. Of course, uh, before we go, make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well if you want to be notified of all the videos coming your way as and when we deliver them but thanks so much for watching this one we'll see you in the next power ledger video update take care bye bye